This is the Barbados Today Afternoon News for Tuesday, February 27th. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. Our top story this afternoon, Labor Minister Dr. Esther Bayasuku tells workers an increase in productivity levels depends on the health of the workforce. She argues that a lot of the issues plaguing the island, including low growth and lack of implementation, can be addressed with a healthier workforce. Dr. Bayosugu was speaking this morning during day two of the Week of Excellence at Solidarity House. Yes, growth indeed at the core of it. Our growth in Barbados must be based on improvements in productivity and of course on competitiveness uh, in our economy as well. Productivity growth must be one of the essential strategies to bring about sustainable economic growth where the functions of job creation and economic development are enabled. That is taken straight from the Barbados Sustainable Recovery Plan 2018, where our partners do agree. Bayosuku says while it is important to provide a conducive environment, workers must also take responsibility for their own health and productivity in the workplace. If we all take our responsibility to move these things forward, they're not delayed at us. Today is the day we're going to get these things off and we are going to make sure that we are in the right frame of mind and body that we can have this happen, then together we can see this implementation challenge behind us. We can see our challenges with doing business, with facilitation, with the time it takes to get an application process, with the time it takes to get a new business registered, all of these things that the private sector complains about. We can get these things done so that business can move more swiftly, so that we can see more investment and ultimately see more growth, see more foreign exchange coming, and then see the jobs that go with it and the social development that we have. So at the end of the day, yes, productivity at the, is at the heart of growth, but at the heart of the matter, it's up to you and me. Meanwhile, the General Secretary of the Barbados Workers' Union, Tony Moore, believes that business facilitation is one area that needs to be addressed to improve the work the country's productivity levels. At the same time, she says workers must feel that they are being adequately compensated and that there is not a perceived level of inequality in the workplace. We have to be compensated sufficiently and we have to be motivated sufficiently to be able to reach our maximum potential at the individual level. And I like the mention of personal responsibility, especially at this time in what we call the season of silliness because it's not only for us the a very expectant electorate but personal responsibility is a responsibility that we would want politicians at this time to recognize as their personal responsibility as well as a leadership responsibility to do the things at their individual level that they know can make them more productive and can motivate us to higher levels of productivity, especially at a time when our country needs it most. In other news, the High Court has ruled that Commonwealth citizens who meet the requirements under the Representation of the People's Act have a right to vote in Barbados. Chief Justice Sir Marston Gibson handed down the decision yesterday afternoon as four non-nationals who have been living here for over a decade legally challenged their exclusion from the country's voters list. There is an appeal from the police for Dwayne Brathwaite, formerly of Mangrove St. Philip, to contact the coroner's court as soon as possible. You can do so in person or at telephone number 535-9923 or at the court's prosecution office at 430-7178 or 430-7179. Anyone who may know of Brathwaite's whereabouts is asked to inform him of this request. There's regional and international news after this short break.
Barbados Today, news you can trust. Thank you for staying with us. We're back with news from the region. Grenada's Parliamentary Elections Office says more than 78,000 people are included in the final list of voters to be used in next month's general election. The PEO Civic and Education Officer Ferdinand Phillips said the names of 122 dead people had been removed from the list and he is urging all persons to ensure that their names are on the voters list. On the international scene, Russia's call for a five-hour ban today failed to halt one of the most devastating campaigns of the Syrian war. Residents said government warplanes resumed striking the eastern Ghouta region on Tuesday after a brief lull. And finally, U.S. cable giant Comcast has offered to buy Sky for $31 billion in an unsolicited approach. This takes on Rupert Murdoch's Fox and Bob Eggers' Walt Disney in the battle for Europe's biggest pay TV group. We get the details in this Reuters report. Comcast has offered to pay $31 billion to buy Sky, pitting the US cable giant against Rupert Murdoch's Fox, which has already agreed to buy Europe's biggest pay TV group. To complicate matters, Murdoch's Fox actually already owns 39% of Sky. Comcast say they are looking to buy over 50% of Sky, offering £12.50 per share, significantly higher than the £10.75 already offered by Fox. News of the bid sending shares in Sky soaring by some 20%, but it's far from a done deal. In December 2016, Fox agreed to buy the 61% of Sky it didn't already own. That's been delayed over concerns about Rupert Murdoch's influence on British media. That itself complicating a separate $52 billion deal by Walt Disney to buy Fox assets, including Sky, at a later date. Fox has recently tabled a sweetened offer to try and leap regulatory hurdles, but Comcast could still have the upper hand. It would be much easier for Comcast from a regulatory point of view to get this deal done. It doesn't have many, it doesn't have media assets in the UK. Um, it should be able to get a deal through Europe. So it would be easier for them to get it done. Uh, I, what we are all wondering now is what Fox and what Disney do, whether they come back with a higher offer because they're going to have to if they want to win this battle. There's already been long-term rivalry between the US media giants. Comcast tried and failed to buy Disney in 2004. Along with Fox, the three sides are now set to scrap it out for Sky and its reach into 32 million European homes. That's news this afternoon. Remember, there's more on our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates and like us on Facebook. We're on Izumi Media in bus terminals and on screenplay at supermarket and gas stations near you. You can also find us on Mix 96.9 FM. I am Mary Claire Williams. Good afternoon.